Hello everyone, welcome to Wati. In this video today, I'm going to show you in the broadcast page how you can submit your template message for approval and also to send an album broadcast message to your client. Let's take a look. So first of all, in the broadcast tab, on the left hand side, you will see three different tabs, which is the template message where you can submit your template for approval, schedule the broadcast, that means um, the broadcast that you schedule in the future, and broadcast history, where you can have a quick overview about your past broadcast and the performance. First of all, let's go to the template messages first in order to show you how you can submit a new template message. First of all, I'll go to new broadcast message here to submit a new template. And you will see that you can use the template or you can start from scratch. So I'll go for start from scratch to show you how it works here. Let's say I would like to make a test message um, 7 February, which is today. Category, say um, alert update, language in English. So each template here should have their own purpose. For example, this template I'm going to make today, um, I will make it as a payment reminder. Then I will have this template used only for payment reminder purpose. And you can submit other templates, for example, um, notification, um, new product updates, etc. So each template, they should have their core message to send to the client, then will easily to get approval by WhatsApp as well. And Heather, which you can add a text message here as a topic. So I'll show you in the preview. Um, that will be here in bold. And or you can add a media file that you can add image, video, or um, document that it should be in the accepted WhatsApp format. So for example, image, video is like another format, document. So make sure the media that you submit is following the format of WhatsApp. So now um, I will upload and sample image and I am going to upload a Wati logo, for example. Then you will see the preview right here. Then in the body message part, you can customize and make it personalized with different variables. That is actually the contact attribute that you add in the contact page. So now I'm going to show you hi. And then you will have the preview right here. So let's complete the message first. Um, then I'm going to find the name of client name. Um, this is a payment reminder. For example, I'm adding a simple message like this. And then in the further part, I can put then it will have a smaller sentence here for the footer. And I can also add buttons as well. Say call to action, I can add a web page that can be dynamic as well. If you're sending something specific to a client or it's like a payment link, etc. So that can be a dynamic link. And apart from that, I can also send a phone number as a button. And I can also add a quick reply. So client can tap yes, no, for example, that will look like this for clients um, WhatsApp. So let's have this example and name could be Crystal and then I save and submit it. Do I want to submit for validation? Yes. Once I click yes here, that will send to WhatsApp for approval. As you can see here, there will be a notification pop up to inform you the approval time will take around 30 minutes to two business days. That is the WhatsApp SLA, but usually to our experience, that's only take around 30 minutes to an hour. But it really depends on what type of message that you're submitting. So here the status will be pending and if it is approved by WhatsApp, you can use it as an, uh, to send out your new broadcast. And apart from that, you can manage your template right here. For example, if I would like to see um, what is the content of the of each template, I can click this 
I here. And I can see what is inside each template message. And I can also copy the template in order to create a new or like the updated template um, that is like with the similar content. So apart from it here, um, if I would like to send an, a template to one of my content, I will go to broadcast history. Then I can schedule a new broadcast to send a new broadcast to my client. Say I would like to send a test one um, with the date today and choose a message like delivery report that we have seen just now. Then I can schedule a day and time to send out. So if I would like to send it instantly, let's say um, in two minutes. Oh, yeah. And then next, I can choose which one to send to. Or as I mentioned, you can also add a filter. See if I would like to only send to a certain group of client. Then I can um, say I would like to send to um, only client in India. Then I can add this filter. And then I can find all my clients in India here, which if you remember is 22 contacts. And if I would like to send to select a client, I can select it right here. Or same thing, I can also select a file to upload. Same Excel format that we have downloaded before. If I would like to do a test right now, I would like to only send to Wati demo. So I will add a new broadcast. And in the new broadcast, you will be, you will be able to see the status right here, whether it is successfully sent whether the client read or reply the message. Here on top, you will see the overview of all the broadcasts based on the time period that you choose to track. And you can also scroll down. In each broadcast here, you can see the detail in the broadcast statistic right here. You'll be able to see whether it's delivered, it is in queue to send out, and for each client, what is their status? So if you're sending to hundreds or thousands of your clients, you'll be able to see who actually read your message or reply to your message or that is not successfully sent, that is not delivered or failed to send. So here that will be giving you a deep dive and you will be able to export this data to a CSV file as well for further analysis if you're doing a marketing campaign. So let's wait a bit right here. Um, that should be sent out in a minute. Once um, the message arrives, it should be showing up right here. Great, so um, the message has already arrived to my phone. So same message, the de delivery report that we have sent out, then it's showing up right here. And in the report, it will show that I have read the message. So now if I want to um, reply to it, for example, hi, then it will become 100% as well. So this is how you can easily submit your template to approval by WhatsApp and lead on to send out the approved template easily to your client or even to your targeted group of clients. And in the broadcast history page, you can easily track your broadcast performance as well in a few clicks. Thank you so much for watching this video.